welcome back to my channel. It's a glorious day outside and I would film outside but I don't live in the quietest neighbourhood so sorry if you can hear birds, drilling, sawing, dogs, anything like that. Which is why we're filming inside and not outside. But I have accumulated a small collection of lush things so I thought I'd do a little lush haul. Most of the things were gifted to me by my boyfriend. He works in the front lines and because he works in the front lines somebody from Lush came to his work and gave them all I think about eight bags of Lush stuff. So he picked up some stuff for me, some stuff for his family, so yeah, I was lucky. Without further ado, let's get into it. I have a little bottle of shower gel. I actually, so I think you can get four different sizes of shower gel from Lush. This is the smallest one. I used to like getting the second smallest one, but the size is quite deceiving. You think with this size it wouldn't last you very long, but this actually lasts me quite a while. I don't want to, I could say in months, but you might all think I'm dirty and I don't wash. I promise you I do. And this is Dirty Spring Wash and mm, I love the smell of this so much. Basically smells like toothpaste or spearmint or of that calibre. This was the first ever shower gel I got from Lush so this definitely has the feels for me. I think this was, yeah, probably one of the first things I bought and I just, I love this smell. In here we have a bubble bar. It's a very funny shaped bubble bar. This is a family friendly channel so I'm not going to say what it reminds me of but uh, you, you can probably guess by the shape. It's an aubergine and um, it smells, I don't know, kind of lavender-y but not because I don't like lavender but it's like lavender with something else. It smells okay, it's quite a relaxing smell and I know this is part of the Valentine range so it's probably why they had to get rid of it. Because nobody's obviously buying Lush stuff right now so this is all the stuff in the shops that was going to go out of date that needed to be panned off somewhere. But yeah, I've never actually tried the aubergine, I don't know its real name, I'm just calling it the aubergine bubble bar. I've never tried it, so that would be cool. I have to apologise, the next couple of things I have, I don't know the names for them because they were gifts and I'm not entirely sure what they are. They are in the sun, let's get them out of the sun. So, first thing we have is a bath bomb. I'll try and work it out by smelling it. Aha, no. I know what this bath bomb is because it's, it's got a very distinct shape. So, it's like a spherical shape. But in the very top, there's like a big kind of crater. And I asked someone just to double check. I said, is it lilac coloured with little circles on it? And they said, yes. So I know, I'm pretty confident this is Ariana Grande's goddess bath bomb. I've had this before. The first time I got it was at the Lush convention. It, again, it smells quite perfumey. It's more that kind of relaxing smell. It's not, it's not fruity. It's more of a relaxing spa smell, which is nice. These smells are, they're not my favourite smells, but they're not smells I hate. And the next bath bomb I have, I don't know the name of it. My mum says she's seen it and I've had it before. And even my boyfriend says I've had it before. So, <laughs> but I don't recognise the smell or what it looks like, so... Again, this one is more citrusy smelling, it's citrusy fresh smelling, really nice. Oh, please don't tell me I'm going to sneeze. No, I'm okay. And it's pink and blue and it's got stars on it. <coughs> now, the only bath bomb I'm familiar with that has stars on it is, I think it's called reach for the stars and it's a Christmas bath bomb and it's more a kind of a dark blue, unless they've changed the colour from when I had sight, 
Um, it's more of a dark blue purpley colour and the stars on it are 3D and they're like bath melts and they're silver. So I'm not sure what this is. Kind of reminds me of like, you know, Make It Pink, Make It Blue Aurora. But it smells really nice. So I'm sorry I don't have the name for that one. You know, if it's on the website, you just need to look for a pink and blue bath bomb with stars on it that smells kind of like oranges. And the last thing we have isn't in a bag. Where is it? Where did I put it? Here it is. Oh no, there's a fly in here. That's the last thing you need. Anyway, the last thing I have is another bubble bar, and this one is called Mermaid Tail. So, looking at it, it literally has a mermaid tail at the top, just the tail part, the, the very bottom part, not the whole, not from the waist down to the tail, just the tail. And by feeling it, it feels like a bath melt. And then the bottom is the actual bubble bar crumbly part, which is a kind of rock and it's pink and it's kind of got like cracks and swirls on it so it's supposed to look like a mermaid tail coming out of a rock but my boyfriend says it doesn't look like that he says it, it kind of looks like oh it kind of it kind of looks like just a tail sticking out a pile of mush but hey i like it and what i really like about it is the way it smells it is very fruity very citrusy very limey orangey Mmm, super good. I've never had this before. I think this is new and it definitely smells super summery. So that's everything for this little mini Lush haul. I hope you guys are having an awesome time and enjoying the really nice weather. And I'll talk to you guys in a future video. Bye guys!